What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko. Oh, baby. Do you guys remember the very first episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX where Jaden goes to Duel Academy and then uh, Dr. Crowler? Crowler? Crowley? No, Crowler. It's kind of sad how unimportant that name is. But Dr. Crowler goes, plays Ancient Gear. That The Ancient Gear Golem was absolutely insane card. Absolutely cool card, of course. Jaden is victorious. But Ancient Gear got some new support in the brand new set. And it makes this deck absolutely insane as a going second OTK deck now. It kind of functions a little bit like Tempai, where you're just kind of like battle phase. Pew, 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 attack, attack, attack. So it's kind of nice in that sense. But it has some really cool combos as well. So in today's video, of course, I'm going to be showing you the brand new Ancient Gear deck profile for the post lead format and uh let's get right into it so first things first is uh three of the ancient gear tanker this card is absolutely insane so on normal or special summon you can just special summon an ancient gear monster from your hand expect except itself and it ignores the summoning conditions which is really important because something like ancient gear golem for example says it can't be special summoned so it does that for you and then the other effect is you can target a face up card you control you destroy it and then for the rest of your turn um essentially your ancient gear monsters gain 600 attack that's not important but the important part is the fact that you're able to destroy a card because you can destroy cards like gear town which uh set up a lot of your plays right so that's the important part so two tanker uh two of the or three tanker two of the commander i should say so commander is really good as well so essentially on field you can send a uh, ancient gear golem from your hand deck or face up on the field to the graveyard and then you're going to get an extra normal summon with this which is absolutely insane so this card it sets up a lot of plays it also gets you to your trap card it uh essentially puts it face up already on the board which is really nice and the, the trap card is really really useful as well so two commander here as well this of course being your starter this one you don't really want to start off all the time that's why you're only playing the two of course you're playing Stratos of the deck, a three Ancient Gear Wyvern. This is Stratos for Ancient Gear, so you got to be playing three of this. We're also playing three of the Ancient Gear Frame. So Ancient Gear Frame is pretty good as well. So essentially, its effect is you can discard a card, you add an Ancient Gear Golem or a Speller Trap that specifies it in its name, and so essentially it's just another searcher for you, which is really really nice. And then one Ancient Gear Box, of course, just a generic searcher. We're playing two of the brand new Dark Golem as well as the one. Unfortunately, you have to play the Brick, the one Ancient Gear Golem. Um, it's not that much of a Brick anymore. Actually, you can Special Summon it now, which is really nice. But the two Dark Golem is really important this also makes rank eight plays for you as well so that's really nice essentially this card becomes the ancient gear golem on the field which is really important because a lot of your cards say ancient gear golem like if you control ancient gear golem so that's what's really good about that and then this card in general is just really really good so that's why we're playing two of this one of this just the brick here um and this is your ancient gear monsters and i guess for an honorary ancient gear monster you're playing the one regulus uh you can play mul multiple of this i like playing the one because you can search it off box of course all of this is machines and going second uh this doesn't really help you otk that's why i'm this is a going second pure going second deck so that's why i'm not playing multiple of this of course if you want to play going first you might play multiple of this but i think here one regulus is perfectly fine so that's it for the ancient gear monsters as well as uh, i guess just regulus which is the honorary monster but then one of the most broken cards that has come out for this deck is three ancient gear advance this card is insane so when this card is activated you can add an ancient gear spell or trap from your deck to your hand um, except itself of course and then its other effect is you contribute a monster draw a card once you use that effect you can then normal summon an ancient gear golem or a level five or higher ancient gear monster without needing a tribute that comes up here and there it's not super super relevant it is when you draw your ancient gear golem and you draw the bricks other than that the important part is just being able to tribute and then get a draw which is nice and then adding a spell or trap is really good because you can add something like ancient gear catapult ancient gear catapult is also really good with this card you can target a card you control you destroy it and then you can special summon an ancient gear monster from your deck ignoring its summoning conditions and again that's really important you can summon ancient gear golem onto your side of the field it's really relevant as well um so that's really nice so three catapult and then three of the ancient gear fortress so fortress is really good because um essentially the turn you summon an ancient gear monster your opponent cannot activate or respond to their effects so essentially if you activate this right and then let's say you normal summon like just say a wyvern your opponent can't respond to the effect of this and that's absolutely insane the fact that you have a protection a built-in protection into the archetype is so so crazy so three fortress i think is absolutely mandatory for this deck three gear town now with uh, a lot of your cards that say pop a card you control to do something you want to pop this because as soon as this is popped you can special summon an ancient gear monster from your deck so you guys can see there's a lot of extension with this deck this special summons a card this gets you a special summon of a card then you have the protection which is really nice here as well so that's why we we're playing um the three gear town right then we're playing the one ancient gear fusion really good card just to go into your extra deck helps you push and make big monsters which is really nice and then one of the ancient gear duel so this is really nice because ancient gear golem and any cards that mention ancient gear golem are unaffected by your opponent's card effects so this is really good because this how you set this up even though it's a going 
going second deck is with your commander commander can just activate this straight to your side of the field so don't worry about it being a trap and then on top of that it has a fusion summon effect with it as well which is really nice so you can you can use that as well to make your big monsters lastly we're just playing two urgent schedule as uh just some extension for the deck as well so a lot of extenders a lot of protectors and you really just want to go into the battle phase and be able to otk your opponent with big monsters with this deck that's it for the spells and i guess the one trap there and then of course as a going second deck you need some kind of board breakers you need some kind of disruption you don't mind if your opponent makes a board you want to be able to break the board so imperm is really good while this is a hand trap a lot of the time you can use it as a board breaker and luckily you're not worried about baron or savage anymore so this just becomes really really broken right now because you don't have to necessarily use it on a baron or savage you can use it on anything else same thing with droplet uh droplet is really really good in today's format as well so three droplet and then lastly two lightning storm i was debating playing like a change of heart and then maybe something else maybe a harpy's feather duster you could do that as well because change of heart is kind of cool in this deck but i just thought lightning lightning storm is really good into the back row matchups and stuff because there this deck although it has a lot of cool ways of doing things it doesn't actually necessarily have any back row removal and so that's why i decided to play lightning storm instead of like a change of heart or something like that right you have droplet you have imperm to deal with the monsters this is really good to deal with the back row so that's it for the main deck it's a 40 card main deck uh, i think i think it's a really really powerful Powerful main deck again you're really focused on what you want to do and the fact that you have a card like ancient gear fortress that's searchable that makes your cards unresponsible not responsible unrespond double to it is really insane because not a lot of decks offer that right that kind of protection so let's move on to the extra deck though um we are playing the one ancient gear ballista you could in theory play two i just I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you in testing i never saw the second one come up so just the one was perfectly fine one howitzer one of the ancient gear uh, ultimate golem this card is absolutely insane i just think the fact that we can summon this in today's day and age is, is crazy right this is an oggx card very beautiful card but honestly it's not the best one the, the this one's way better uh the megatron uh, or the megaton golem is, is really really powerful as well and they all require like multiple ancient gear monsters but it's really easy to do with your ancient gear fusion and your trap card as well and with all the setup that this deck has now so it's really nice and then we're also playing one of the chaos ancient gear giant this one doesn't come up as much because it does require four but if you are able to put this up you're pretty much winning the game this card is absolutely insane it's just a little bit hard, harder to set up right so that's it for your ancient gear monsters and then you're playing a bunch of just really powerful cards here so you're playing the one sargus and the one merrymaker with two level fours you can make merrymaker Maker, make Sargas, search a Regulus that becomes really powerful as well. So it's really nice to have these. Uh, you can sometimes just hard make the Sargas because it's level 8, but uh, Mary Maker is more likely what you're going to be going into. One of the Baguska, unfortunately, your opponent is going to make you want to go first, and when you go first, it's not a really fun time you can just end on babuska which is really nice and then we're playing some of just the rank 8 toolbox monsters so hope harbinger uh number 90 and then dingirsu if you are forced to go first again like i said you can sometimes end on these or if you don't otk your opponent um then you can end on these as well which is really nice and then dingirsu going second is also really good you just summon it send a card really really powerful in that sense uh we're playing the one platinum gadget very standard in machine decks one ip the reason you're playing ip is because you can end on platinum gadget plus ip sometimes if you're forced to go first and then this essentially is going to set you up into an appaloosa so that's really nice apple is really powerful but of course it can also set you up into an sp little knight as well which is really nice so here you guys can see okay this is 15 cards a card that i'm not playing right now is zeus and honestly you can kind of cut maybe one of the rank eights you can maybe cut one of the fusions uh, maybe the SP if you guys don't have access to SP, I know this is kind of expensive. Zeus is an option for you guys just because Dingirsu into Zeus is really good. But again, you want to OTK anyway, so it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I really wanted to play as many cards as possible to help me push for damage and OTK, but I just want to let you know that Zeus is an option for you guys, right? So uh, that's it for the extra deck, 15 cards, of course. And then for the side deck, honestly, always up to personal preference. I say this in every single video, but I just want to show you guys a side deck that's kind of good into every matchup. So three Nibiru, absolutely insane card right now. No Baron is, is crazy. No Baron, no Savage means that this card is pretty much always resolving. Your opponent has to go into Appaloosa, but if they're going into Appaloosa under five summons, they usually only have two negates on it. This is going to at least burn one of them. So it's really nice. Uh, two Panker Tops. Again, as a going second card, this card is absolutely insane. So two Panker Tops, one of the Harpy's Feather Duster, again, for more back row hate. Now, remember how I talked about this deck struggling going first so of course these are the only cards that i'm siding in to go second because the deck does so much going second already that i'm siding in pretty heavy to go first right because if your opponent makes you go first it's kind of tough three hate wave he waves in it absolutely insane i know i said you can end on the guska i know i said you can end on a lot of different cards but there are times where if you just side this in and you're forced to go first you just activate the heat wave and pass your opponent can't 
beat you if you activate a heat wave so no matter what they do they're not going to be able to even set up a board so once it turn goes back to you turn three you can go and push for game which is absolutely insane so heat wave turn skip card absolutely crazy three threatening roar if you're going against the tempai matchup this card is really important and then three d barrier now d barrier is really good into tempai they do have a link line where they can otk through d barrier but this is actually more so for branded and some of the other decks as well so uh that's why i'm playing the three d barrier but again most of the time if you're forced to go first all nine of these come in and then what you side out typically is some of your going second cards right like lightning storm is something you side out you side out like urgent schedules things like that like all of these cards that are kind of like not as important you'll side them out side these cards in and if you see heat wave you're pretty much winning like the game because if you just activate this your opponent's passing you get an extra draw you're going to be able to push for game but that's it for the side deck um again it's always going to be up to personal preference and it's just built for kind of a little bit of everything but if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload seven days a week here on the channel you guys get five shorts and then you guys get at least two videos like this one the deck profiles combo videos all that stuff and so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned in for more thank you alpha for being the best cameraman on youtube dr crowley's deck is absolutely insane in today's format i know tenpai can be really expensive it was supposed to be budget it's not budget so if you guys want a budget version of tenpai ancient gear is the way to go and it's a cool anime deck. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.